Hi guys, I'm Butcher Shimada from Homo Shimata channel. Did you know that giraffes have four stomachs? Oh, don't worry, I'm not gonna eat giraffes today. The same ruminant, cow, also has four stomachs. And today, I would like to introduce the second stomach of cow, Hachinosu, the honeycomb tribe. Let's get started. This is Hachinosu. This is called Black Hachinosu and has a black skin. If you have seen a honeycomb tribe before, it might be the one without skin. Since cows are ruminant, they have four stomachs, Mino, Hachinosu, Senmai, and Giara. Ruminants are a general term of animals that send food that has been chewed once to the stomach and then return it to a mouth and chew again. Giraffes, sheep, goats, deer are also the same ruminant. First, warm Hachinosu in hot water at 48 degrees for 5 minutes. Then, warm it with hot water at 75 degrees for 2 minutes and peel the black skin off. Peel it off like rubbing. If you cool it with water, the skin will become hard and difficult to peel off, so do your best to remove the skin while it's warm. I will boil it again. Put the Hachinosu, ginger, and green onion in boiling water and simmer for about 1 hour. Cool with cold water, drain, and cut. It looks better now but still in weird shape. Hachinosu means honeycomb in Japanese because look it looks like that. Now cut for grilling. Trim then cut it into bite-sized pieces. The slightly bulging part at the end is called hachikobu which connects hachinosu and senmai. It's a rare part that can be taken only in a very small amount from one cow. It's especially delicious, so let's eat it later. First, cut it into large pieces like this, then cut it to a size of about 2 cm by 4 cm. I boiled for an hour, but it's still chewy, so smaller is better. It doesn't look like meat, well, it's hormone, but... Hmm. Next, cut it for sashimi. Thin stripes like this. Finally, cut the hachikobu that I saved earlier. It's thick, so make a notch on the surface. Now, all the preparation is done. Let's season it. Sub hachinosu on a plate, sprinkle with vinegar miso, green onions and sesame seeds. Sashimi is complete. Put hachinosu for grilling and hachikobu in the bowl. Add miso sauce, paprika powder, white pepper and sesame oil and mix well. Then serve on a plate and sprinkle with green onions and sesame seeds. Done! Let's eat now. First of all, I have to prepare hoppy. How cheap you drink? It's important for heavy drinkers, right? It's good that you can adjust it to your taste. Itadakimasu. I start with sashimi. It's refreshing and has no strong taste. If you don't mind this look, hachinosu is recommended for hormone beginners. It's also used in Italian cuisine for stewing, so I think many people have tried it. Next, grilling. Sashimi was quite refreshing, but it becomes juicy when grilled, so it goes well with this kind of miso sauce. Wait until it gets a little crispy. Looking good. Let's try. Oh my. Delicious. Now, hachikobu. As I told you, this is rare, so if you see it at the Yakinik restaurant, you better try it. It's softer and has more fat than hachinosu. The taste is sweet and elegant. This is still thick, but why is this so soft? If you like chewy textures, you might like hachinosu. That's all for today's video. Thanks for watching. How was hachinosu, the honeycomb tribe? Oh, especially the hachikobu was my favorite. We will continue to post more fan videos, so please look forward to it. We're running a homo Yakinik restaurant called Hong Shimata in Maebashi City, Guma, Japan. If you have a chance to come to Japan one day, please visit our restaurant. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and please thumbs up. Bye!